This is a tough one, though, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Not to me. Okay, family, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, DJ, where I'm constantly being bar- bombarded with uh, crazy stories. Um, to let you know what your world, what's happening in our world, right? Okay, so this is in my neck of the woods. A Glendale woman charged in New Berlin homicide of family friend. Now, according to the criminal complaint, Brown claims she found Platt in the shower on February 12th, having a uh, contact with her 22-year-old nonverbal son. Okay. Um. So she made her first court appearance on Wednesday, two weeks after prosecutors say she beat a man, who she called a longtime family friend to death in his home. The defendant has now been accused of brutally taking the life of victim A, whom she previously resided with and she'd known for 14 years, said Deputy Walk- Waukesha District Attorney Abby Nicoli. Martha Brown is charged with first-degree intentional homicide in the death of Richard Pratt, 77. The medical examiner determined that he died of a blunt force Injuries to his face, head, neck, and chest. According to the criminal complaint, Brown claims she found Platt in the shower on February 12th, having sexual contact with her 22-year-old nonverbal son. She says she chased Platt to the basement where he attacked her, touched her inappropriately, and she repeatedly struck him. Even as she was on top of him, on the basement floor. Brown was later found the same day wandering through the town of Cedarburg, partially clothed and draped in a shower curtain. She knew him like for a while too. They were like decently close is what Platt's granddaughter Autumn Fell told WISN 12 News the day he was found dead. Platt's family told Channel 12 that the pair had lived together on and off. Reached on Wednesday, his granddaughter said that of his sexual assault allegation, it doesn't make sense at all, and we don't believe that to be true. Prosecutors seemingly don't believe the claims of self-defense either, charging that Brown with the most serious homicide charge in Wisconsin law. The alleged murder weapon was a smashed ceramic angel found next to Platt's body with a pool of blood all around him. Given the highly violent nature of the case, the state does believe the $1 million is necessary to protect members of the public. The court commissioner agreed, and they set the bill at $1 million. So you know they don't want her out. According to the criminal complaint, Brown admitted, mm, 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 mm. what did she admit? Let me, let me, let me slow down. This is, this is very sad. This is sad. According to the criminal complaint, Brown admitted to New Berlin police that besides hitting Platt with the angel, she tried to gouge his eyes out and bit him in the face. Brown was treated at a hospital when she was first found in the town of Cedarburg because of her report that she'd been sexually assaulted. However, there's no mention of injuries, and she was taken the same day to be questioned by New Berlin detectives, and there's no word on who is caring for her son. No relatives were in court from either Brown or Platt. 
and she is due back in court next month for a preliminary hearing. That's insane. And this story about her nonverbal son, I don't know. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that she attacked him because he was making it out with her nonverbal son? Let's hear how the news story, this news outlet describes it. Big story at five, a Glendale woman appears in court charged with homicide in the beating death of a 77-year-old New Berlin man. Police found the body of Richard Platt in the basement of his home near Glen Park Court and National Avenue, February 12th. Real News with Nick Moore is live at the Waukesha County Courthouse tonight. Nick, when police arrested the woman, they found her partially naked wandering around Cedarburg. Right, she was wrapped only in a shower curtain. We're finally learning what she says, at least, led up to the vicious beating, killing the elderly man by beating him with a ceramic angel. State of Wisconsin versus Martha Brown. 43-year-old Martha Brown of Glendale in Waukesha County Court two weeks after prosecutors say she beat a man she called a longtime family friend, Richard Platt, to death in his home. The defendant has now been accused of brutally murdering victim A, who she had previously resided with and whom she's known for 14 years. According to the criminal complaint, Brown claims she found Platt in the shower, having sexual contact with his 22-year-old nonverbal son. She said she chased Platt to the basement where he attacked her, touched her inappropriately, and she struck him in the face, head, and body. She was later found wandering through the town of Cedarburg, partially clothed, draped with a shower curtain. She knew him, like, for a while, too. They were, like, decently close. Platt's family told 12 News then the pair had lived together off and on. Reached today, his granddaughter said of the sexual assault allegations, quote, it doesn't make sense at all. We don't believe that to be true. Prosecutors seemingly not believing the claims either, charging Brown with first-degree intentional homicide, a smashed ceramic angel, the alleged murder weapon, left next to Platt's body. Given the highly violent nature of the case, the state does believe that the $1 million is necessary to protect members of the public. Bail was set at a $1 million, with Brown admitting to police that besides hitting Platt with the angel, she tried to gouge his eyes out and bit him in the face. And if Brown claimed that she was attacked, did she have any injuries? Well, she was treated at a hospital when she was found in the town of Cedarburg there based on her report that she had been sexually assaulted, but there's no mention in the complaint of any injuries, and she was taken that same day to New Berlin Police to be questioned there. There is no word, by the way, on who is caring for her son. All right, Nick Moore reporting live from Waukesha County Courthouse tonight. And you can watch our past reports on this murder in New Berlin, including our interview with the victim's daughter and granddaughter. They're posted right now on the 12 News app. Now, just for um, aesthetics sake, he's an old 77-year-old Caucasian man, and she's a 43-year-old black woman. Um, and I don't want to overspeak the situation, but she looks like she's a user. But... I said she looks like. I didn't say she was. What y'all think about this story? This is insane. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.